I'm Ken Carlson with CountryGuitarChops.com, and on this video, I'm going to do a review for the Seymour Duncan Broadcaster Bridge Pickup. Uh, I'm not going to be doing a review of the other pickup because it's, it's not a Seymour Duncan that I've got in there right now. So this is for the Bridge Pickup, and I'm also going to be comparing this to the Seymour Duncan Vintage 54, which... I don't have anymore because the uh, guitar that I had it in, I gave away to a dear friend of mine, a guy who taught me how to, got me started on lead guitar many, many years ago. So, uh, but I'll tell you what uh, my experience has been with the two of those pickups. Um, I built a Pinecaster a couple years ago, and I was looking for a vintage tone for that guitar, and I was looking at the various Seymour Duncan pickups because I've been using using some of their other pickups and guitars for years and doing my research, you know, hitting the forums and stuff, seeing what guys' opinions are. Uh, the two that popped up the most were the uh, Vintage 54 and the Broadcaster. And I'm not sure why, but I, I went with the Vintage 54. So I got the pickup and I put it in a guitar and it was not the sound, the tone that I was after. It's a very clean, crisp sounding pickup. It's a great pickup. I mean, the guy that I gave it to, uh, he plays really old school country stuff, you know, kind of medium and slow, slower stuff, not the not the kind of stuff that I was just playing. Uh, and he just loved it. So, you know, if you're if you're into that, uh, a, a very clean, crisp sound, I would recommend the Vintage 54. Um, but anyway, I called uh, the folks up at Seymour Duncan before I went out and bought another pickup to get their opinion on it, and uh, they recommended the Broadcaster, and they were gracious enough to send me one. Um, this is the pickup. I guess I should have read the description on their website. Uh, if you read the description on this pickup, it's slightly overwound, brings out a little more mid-range, and the perfect word to describe it, uh, as they do, is that it's got a slight snarl. That's the sound that I was looking for. A little more aggressive tone. And where that really sticks out, for me, where I really notice it, is when I'm doing like double stop bends. Where I... Something like that. You know? It's just got this little snarl. I mean, it's, that's a perfect word for it. So I'll, I'll play a little something here, and hopefully you'll be able to hear it. Um, you might not be able to hear all the on on nuances and uh, I can't even think of the word now uh, you, because of the recording gear that I've got you know I don't have the hundred thousand dollars worth of uh, uh, recording gear but uh, hopefully you'll you'll hear what I'm talking about uh, let's see <laughs> right there that's it I just hear this little slight little growl that snarl <laughs> Right there. Um, up here in the higher register, it's a chirpy kind of a snarly sound. And uh, that's what I like about that pickup. Okay. So again, if you want a really clean sound, uh, the 54, I'd recommend the 54, the vintage 54. If you want something with a little more snarl. Uh, I recommend the uh, Broadcaster. I, I really like this pickup. I've got two of them now, and uh, I'm, for a vintage sound, uh, I'm liking the, the pickup. Oh, I want to mention, too, that this, uh, this Broadcaster pickup, it handles uh, overdrive and distortion pedals really well. I don't have one hooked up, so I, I can't give you a dim, uh, an example, but uh, it handles them just fine. They sound great to it. So uh, Hopefully this will help you guys out, uh, some of you chicken pickers or country guys looking for uh, to upgrade your pickups. I'm Ken Carlson with CountryGuitarChops.com, and I'll see you on the next video.